Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel which provides geography videos to students and teachers across the UK. All of these videos focus on geographical content and exam skill and they can be used at Key Stage 3, Key Stage 4 and Key Stage 5. In this particular video I will explore how the city of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil is facing a number of challenges within the squatter settlements that are located there. I will also explain how the city is managing these challenges in a sustainable way. This video makes up a series of videos on the city of Rio de Janeiro, which can be used for the AQA GCSE specification urban issues module. Before we look at the challenges of the squatter settlements in Rio, it is first important to understand why the favelas have grown so rapidly over the past 50 years. The main reason behind the growth is rural to urban migration, where millions, millions of people have migrated into the city in search of social and economic opportunities, such as employment, education, or healthcare. Once people arrive, they build their home within the growing illegal settlements, which are scattered across the city. The five main challenges of squatter settlements in Rio are number one, the challenge of construction. Number two, the challenge of services. Number three, the challenge of unemployment. Number four, the challenge of crime and lastly number five the challenge with health the first challenge is the challenge of the construction of homes many of which are poorly built and are unsafe to live in Around 95% of the homes within the favelas are poorly constructed using unsafe building material. Most of the homes are built on unsafe, steep land, which is consistently at risk of landslides, especially after periods of really heavy rainfall. In addition, due to the steepness of the land that the favelas are built on, it is very challenging to build sustainable roads throughout the favelas. This could lead to further problems. Although there are many improvements within the favelas in Rio, there are still a number of areas which still have very basic or non-existent access to services such as electricity and sewage disposal. Due to a lack of electricity, many people are using illegal connections to electricity pylons. This is of course incredibly dangerous and results in a number of deaths 
every single year, but it also causes the very limited electrical supply in Rio to regularly cut out. Also, with the issue of sewage disposal and not having enough clean water, many people have to make several trips every day to collect water from drinking taps which are located around the favelas. This water supply can sometimes run out. Within the many favelas across the city, the unemployment rate is increasing. There are a few people who do have a job. However, those that do have a job, those jobs will be poorly paid. So those people will still struggle to meet the basic needs from day to day. To find out more about unemployment in the city of Rio, it will be worth checking out my other video on the economic challenges that the city is facing. The crime rate in Rio is absolutely shocking with most of the crime being committed within the favelas. In some of the favelas across the city, the murder rate is 30%. This is an incredibly high percentage. Drug gangs have control of many of the favelas which makes it incredibly difficult for the Brazilian police force to try and restore law and order. There is a severe lack of healthcare services within the favelas across the city. As a result, this increases the infant mortality and death rates of the population. Due to an increase of rubbish buildup and waste entering water sources, there is an increase in the number of diseases people are getting caused by drinking dirty, polluted water. In addition, due to many, many of the homes in the favelas made out of materials such as wood, fires are very common, which unfortunately leads to many deaths every single year. The national government and the local authorities in Rio have invested large amounts of money into the city with the intention to try and improve the quality of life. One of the most successful projects has been the Favela Barrow project. This project has brought about a number of social opportunities as a result. These social opportunities are, number one, adult education services. The idea behind this is to try to encourage adults to improve their qualifications and their level of skill and hopefully they will end up getting a job. Secondly, supporting residents with drug 
an alcohol addiction to help them get their lives back on track. And thirdly, providing low cost childcare services. This is to support adults with children so they are then able to go back to work. The economic opportunities from this project are number one, it provides residents within the favelas access to financial credit and support to help them to buy materials so they can improve the quality and safety of their homes. Secondly, it also provides residents within the favelas a 100% mortgage. So if they wished, they could have complete legal ownership of their home. The environmental benefits of this project are number one, the quality of the roads running throughout the favelas has been improved. Secondly, there have been huge improvements to the sanitation system. So now there is less sewage leaking into the drinking water sources. And lastly, the hillsides that have been built on of which there are many within this city, these hillsides have been secured to prevent any future landslides. Despite the roaring success of the Favela Barrow project in Rio, which has brought about social, uh, economic and environmental improvements to the area, there are still a number of limitations to it. These limitations are, number one, the financial budget which was allocated to the project may not be enough to support every favela within the city. Secondly, although new roads, buildings and homes have been developed and improved, they are not being maintained. So in the short term, great, but over the long term, it's not going to be sustainable. The third limitation, despite the many improvements in the education system within the favelas, there are still a large number of people with low literacy and numeracy levels. This fact is restricting them from getting a job. And the last limitation to this project is, as improvements have been made across different favelas within the city, the overall cost of living has increased. And because the overall cost of living has increased, the very poorest within the city, their lives have been made worse.
Thank you for watching my video on the challenges of squatter settlements and how those challenges are being managed. I hope it does support you in your geography lessons. Do check out my other geography revision videos on the urban issues topic, including many other videos on the city of Rio. And most importantly, if you would like to support this channel, please do like this video and subscribe to the channel for many more videos just like this one, which will support and guide you through your geography, GCSE or A-level.